everybody my name is farmer Phil and today we'll be taking a look at the five easiest ways of making money on farming simulator 2015 without cheating and by without cheating I mean not using the money mod or changing the save game file so let's get started so the fifth easiest way to make money is to manipulate the grain market and what I mean by this I'll just bring up the, the prices here just to show you because it's not that simple to explain what I mean by this now is the first harvest you saw all your fields in wheat and the second harvest you saw them all in barley and the third you saw them canola or oilseed rape whatever you want to call it and by the time you get to your third harvest or your fourth harvest you go back to wheat and by that time the price will have recovered as we all know when you sell a lot of one type the price plummets it goes down it's not worth half as much as it was but when you do that once and then you're going to wait one two and the third harvest when you get back to wheat that price is gone up it might be up a bit more than it was the first time round or it could be on demand it's not really a, an effective easy way of making money but it's just a way of manipulating the system into your favor and it's something I do all the time when I'm playing okay so number four the fourth easiest way to make money as you can see here is collect straw I know it's not worth a wild pile of money but it's still worth some at the same time like a full of the wagon might be four thousand three thousand depending on the difficulty of the game you're playing on but it's just and a simple way of making money and I don't think I need to show you how to do it and if you want to know how to do it using course play click on the annotation above and that will send you to another one of my videos on how to fully automate cl the collecting of straw and selling of it so that's that and then number three if we go and we change vehicles now try and get the right one is baling hay and wrapping it now you also need the bale extension mod which will be in the links below as well as the Mikhail Fusion 2 as, as you can see there that will also be in the description below but it's a fairly simple way of making money and in maps like this you can easily mow headlands not have to buy any land or anything to sow grass and I'll just show you now what I mean by how simple it is so we'll just start up this machine now make sure that her wrapping is activated because this automatically lets out the bale and then wraps it but then you have to manually unload the wrap bale and some another point to pull out is this mod does not work of course today because it because uh, to be honest I don't know why but when it unloads the bale onto the wrapper it'll wrap it but then it won't unload it and it unloads the bale from the baler onto the already wrapped bale and you end up with no bales so hopefully now we'll have enough hay med there to do the job another thing as well is you could use just bale silage and wrap it that also gives you an extra thousand on top of wrapped hay or haylage you could say and it's the only thing is with the bale and the silage you have to leave it to ferment if you sell it before it has fully fermented it's only worth 200 300 a bale but when it's fermented it's worth 5000 a bale and I'll just show you now when this lad makes a bale and throws it out there I'll show you what the bale extension does all it really does is gives you a humidity and a grade a quality grade and then bases a price based on the quality the humid or the humidity or not the humidity the dry matter I suppose we are moisture better one again and the grade of it. So hopefully now this lad will have enough there to make a bale. Hopefully. So I just have to give him a minute now as tractor's a bit underpowered for the baler I think. It's a fairly nice mod that as well. It was in the competition. It's on the official farming simulator website under the contest section of the mods. Click on that link below, you'll see 
you, it'll bring you straight to the page you'll be able to download it there and try it out for yourself it's a fairly nice one you can also open up the panels on it when you're outside of it so now he's getting there buzzer's going off and we are just about there now as you can see it automatically lets out the bell. I had to press now. As you can see there, it's wrapping the bell. So we'll just wait here until he's finished wrapping the bell and we'll unload it and we'll go out and check it. So we'll just have to give him a minute. No. No. Uh, actually, you can open up your side panels there now and see it fairly nice detailed mod. So, press O, loads the bail, we'll just get out of the tractor now and we'll check it. Now as you can see there, hay, humidity 13%, amount 4000 litres or tons or kilos or whatever way they calculate it in the game and quality A plus and that's how, mu how much it's worth, 4487 very handy way if you just made hay it's worth about two thousand or three thousand depending but when you wrap it four thousand with that Mikhail bales and wraps all in the one very handy so now we'll go on to number two the second most easiest way of making money in the game is to pay, pay a silage in the bio at the biodigester it is just by far easier than the last three even though you do need a way of mowing grass and drawing it to it and rolling it and then unloading it. It it just makes so much money. Like a full pit of a full one of those pits is worth about two hundred, three hundred thousand on easy on the easy mode. Now you're on the hard mode it might be worth maybe not even a hundred thousand. But it's fairly easy to way to get money. It's for all you have to put in into it, it's fairly straightforward. And also if you click the annotation there, that'll bring you to a video of mine that shows you how to make two ways of making silage. There's actually three annotations there. One way of making silage with the expensive way where forage harvesters and tractors and trailers. And the making silage part two then is with wagons. And then the third one is just a loader operation that you can automatically self load it to empty the pit. It simplifies the whole thing and leaves you with time to go do something else. And now, for the number one, e number one easiest way to make money in the game, I just have to show you now. It is fairly straightforward. So if we just try now, we've got the machine, and the easiest way of making money is to go and plant trees. So if I go placeables and go now the one that's worth the most money is the popular or popular or whatever way you pronounce it and you just simply buy this and now in this map you have you has to be fairly far away you can't be right on top of it in some of the other maps like Cobra Park Farms you can place it right on top and all you have to do is chop the tree it's sold so we'll just have to place this now over here now we'll just place two of them there and then we'll just go back now to our machine as you can see there I have a skid for picking up the logs it's the handiest way of transporting the tree from there to the cell point and if you click on the there's a link in the description for that mod as well so we'll just drive out here to the tree we're after pulling down as you can see this big tree. You can do the same with the smaller trees there, chop them up and put them down. But this is just a handy way because you also get paid for selling the tree after you've cut it. So we will line her up for the chop. Try and cut it down. Not really concerned about how close to the ground I cut it now. Just get it on the ground. T 
Timber. She goes. And now, we will just go along and trim off all the stuff if he reaches it. Now, just increase the amount of money you're going to get for it. Just getting rid of all that bush or all the leaves and that. Which I did not get rid of an awful lot of them now. Let's see if we can get a few more off it. And a few more. You don't have to cut it up. All you have to do is just get rid you don't even have to get rid of these, it just increases the bit of money you're going to get. For the job. So ah, uh, you, you would like it a little bit cleaner than that, but it should be grand. have a problem now. Normally you want to try and drag it from the far end there. It just makes it handier. We'll see if we can knock him down a bit. Yep. Might be able to get it now. And, oh. mm. Might or might not. We might try and drag him from the other end. Can be a bit hard just getting something good enough to grab and then drag along. So ah, we might be able to get him here. So to open up the loader there you just click your left and your left and right mouse button and open them, open them and then just reverse back get rid of course now it'd probably be easier to show you this with a smaller tree but when you buy a tree and place it and then drag it and sell it you can sell the stub and the stub is worth half the price of the tree and the tree was co cost seven thousand so you get Three and a half, is it, or two? two? It's actually a bit less than half now, so I'm nearly sure it's about two six you get. So now, if I can, uh, maybe I have something to hold on to now. We'll find out. No, yeah, I just don't have anything good enough. I'd probably be better off with a smaller tree. But this is this tool, this mod I have here is just a handy way of doing it. Probably be a lot handier for cut off all the extra bits on the tree. Sure. Don't have time, but anyways, a tree of this length, if you cut half all the foliage off it, it's worth about seventy thousand. Flat. Seventy thousand you get her into that, that's what that's worth. And it only costs you seven thousand to put it down. And if I go back to my garage I can then go and sell this. Right, there it is, there it's three and a half. And then I can just go along and click the stub. If I can remember now. I was able to sell the stub now. Oh, maybe I can't, but anyways, for the cost of 7,000, and you get about 70,000 for the full tree. It's fairly handy and that's the easiest way that is the easiest way of making money I've often done this to make money to go and buy self propels or big M's or stuff like that expensive stuff so now I'm going to show you the two ways of cheating and the first way is to download the money mod there'll be a link in the description to that all it is is control alt zero load a horn and you can see there the millions add up and then to minus Control, Alt, and Home. And that minus is all your money. And then, the other way of changing the save game settings, we just have to go and exit this game. I'm not going to save it because I'm not really bothered. And we need to go into the files for the game. So we go to Documents, My Game, Farming Simulator 2015. This, then select the save game files so this was save game 2 you go to career save game xml you um, no i do not want it open in that you want to edit it and you want to find just have to see now where it is Should 
be just finding it now I can't remember the thing so you'll be able to just uh, search for it but somewhere near the top of it there you can see it there money that's it you just look for the money and then you just click anywhere there and just add on as many zeros as you can think of and I don't know if there's a limit to the number of zeros but you can see there that's in what a thousand hundred thousand hundred million hundred billion nine trillion so we want to save this then save want to X out of it and go back into the game then you want to do it when the game's closed just to make sure that you don't affect anything any of the saving parts of the game you can see there actually no it's not 90 there's a thousand hundred million billion 92 trillion actually is how much is in the game and that is it that's the five easiest ways of making money in the game without cheating and the two ways of how to do it when you're cheating so that is it for me please like and subscribe to my channel please leave a comment below on what you think I should do next that's it. Good luck.